So, what the hell? All right, guys. Let's uh, let's go do that for for Tammy, so she can figure this out. Let's give might to everybody. Oh, so there's a lot of them down there. But actually there's one of these things here. I guess I'm doing this maybe. Oh my god, it's like a hammer of dawn thing. So is this actually zapping any of them? Or is maybe not, I don't know. Oh, it's zapping the ones that are up here at least. Unless they're protecting me so I can do it to these guys down there. No, they're protected by a bubble. Right, um, are they protected by a bubble? It seems that way. <laughs> All right. Glad to see Tom is having fun. Wow, um, that looks amazing. I'm guessing that's the Leyland power, maybe? It would make sense for, for that to be the Leylands. It kind of looks like bones going around it, and I'm not sure if it is bone or if it's just stone. Not you. This one's for the boss only. 
Okay. Kazmir wanted to uh to be it then. Oh. Steam stomp. Ah, oh, this is cool. All right, how many are there that we need to kill, I wonder? There's a lot of illusionary defenders around here and I'm not sure where they come from. Now I'm not sure if it's Casmir. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're heading through here. Has anybody looked up yet? Because nobody's mentioned this this thing going on up there. Now, I really wish that they just had a first person mode because I'd be able to zoom in and just really take in the environment. I just I, I the, the I know that the on the the betas or the developer kit at least they have a first person mode, so I don't know why they wouldn't just give it to the players. Uh, I've seen videos of people using it and it... Yeah, I, I just I don't understand why they wouldn't give it to the players. Alright, so I guess we're heading up to the third and maybe final uh, console. Silly in quest. So I may take it among myself to level up my Asura Elementalist just to play the living story on because the, uh, the whole small character thing would make the uh, looking around the environment a whole lot better. Whoa! Uh, what's happening? I just keep getting knocked, knocked around like a, a pin cushion. Now the music definitely does get too loud, so I'm gonna quickly head into here and turn the music volume down a, a bunch, as well as maybe some of the combat as well. Uh, environment volume, effects volume, dialogue volume can go up, UI volume can go down. Um, okay, now that should sound a whole lot better for when people are talking. Right, there we go. As you heard, the for great justice was a lot louder than everything else. Now, I know a lot of people complained about that because you obviously, when you're trying to fight, the music gets overpoweringly loud, and then a lot of the dialogue dialogue actually happens when you are fighting. All right, so there is a lot of inquest here, and nobody else seems to be saying anything now that I've turned down all of the volumes. I I definitely hate that world wind attack that golems do. Kazmi is right over there, and I hear her quite well, quite good. So 
Hopefully that, that'll fix it. Now obviously the music volume, which I enjoy so much. I enjoy the music on the game tremendously, but uh, yeah, it's it's not worth having it if I, if I can't hear the story, I guess. And ooh, we're of course down. <laughs> Just try and get back up and then get back into the fight here. Alright. Console is secure. Turn the music volume up just a tad. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't. It's beautiful. Man, we're still alive. That's a plus. Of course Whoa. we're alive. I'm joking about 53%. It was more like 78. Wonderful. Looks like we're going to be the only ones walking around in here for some time. You did great, Tuffy. I know. What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so they've figured out where they're going, but where does that leave me? Where am I going in this situation? Uh, some salvage items for pyrite. Uh, is it amberite, not pyrite? Where did I get pyrite from? I have no idea where I got pyrite from. Alright, okay, so let's deposit all collectibles, uh, delete some of those, and let's continue onwards. Right, where are we going? Right down here. Okie dokie. All the way to Timberland Falls. Now I think it was in Timberland Falls in the trailer that the stronghold was being attacked by the tendrils. Now this really excited me because ArenaNet have always took the stand that dragons are just like an unstoppable force, like a tornado or a volcano. Uh, it doesn't think about what it's doing, it just does them. Um, but if it's attacking the, the 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 place that's most threat to it, where the, the Pact are, where Trahane is, if, if Mordromoth knows that the Pact took down Zaitan, then this may be why he's attacking the Pact here. And if it is, then it shows that the dragons have thought, and it's not just because... They're a, a being that just do things because they can. So here we go. We have the Concordia incident. What in Wolf's name is happening? These vines. The kid was right again. Uh, he's wrong sometimes too. What'd you say? Uh, I said we should get moving now that we're all here. From the look of it, they could use a hand. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Not with that leg. You're still recuperating. Stay behind Frostbite. He's got a mean tail. Hanging up on me isn't fair. I'm fine. Come on, let's 
Let's get this over with. I like Bram because he's not a, like a huge non my human in comparison looks to be just a little bit smaller which is how it should be now I understand that norns are massive but I hate it when somebody makes them like a max height max max like fat non and they just tower over me and they're about three times as wide as me <laughs> So, obviously the tendrils that Wow. Okay. Uh, that was... This thing is very strong. Just kill it, get... Now, I'm probably just gonna stay at range from some of these things, because obviously, as we've just seen, they're very strong, and I just don't want to keep getting downed. Because obviously, tonight, I... I've lost all ability to dodge and evade. <laughs> Right. And it still flew towards me. But yep, yeah, we're cleaning up where the uh the 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 packed sort of base, Concordia base. Now this bit the, in the personal story actually has quite a big sort of role, so I'm not really sure. I guess it'll be re be unchanged maybe in the personal story. I guess it'd have to be, or they'd have to change the whole personal story. Hmm. But yeah, I guess I guess it'll just go back to normal. Just ranging. As you can see right now, I actually got like snared in place, but ranging is is actually quite powerful on a warrior. Um, I might actually make a sort of bow warrior if that's possible and just have like pure birth and work on kind of burning and um, bleeding maybe a bow rifle like a, f a full range warrior <laughs> just for kind of like a fun build to play with right okay is there anything else that needs killing or is everything down now I hope everything's down uh, doesn't look like it ah I see we have the uh, little bar here so I think it's like maybe um, maybe it's just kind of like gated until you kill so many of the things take down the tendrils Just a few more to kill, it looks like. So they're still... They're still going on about the whole Bram leg situation. Now I understand that he broke his leg and stuff, but it was ages ago now. Unless they're assuming that this is like straight after the Scarlet thing. But uh, I can't really remember if it is or if it's based of like a bit afterwards. That attack caught us by surprise. You had no warning? Well, a few small vines popped up after the Priory caravan arrived, but we didn't pay those any mind uh, until they grew. Priory caravan? Was it carrying the vines? Seeds? Hmm, not that they mentioned. They did have some extremely old artifacts with them. I'd like to talk to the scholar in charge of the caravan. They headed northwest with Lindsay to find the rest of the cavalcade. Some were separated from this lot. What's the plan? I'm taking this caravan along with everyone from Concordia to an Asuran lab northeast of here for safety. We can go along and provide additional security. I want to find this prior scholar and see where these vines came from. Why don't we split up? We can cover more ground that way. I don't know about that. Let's discuss it more. Ah. So I get a choice. Rocks worries too much. My limp is completely gone. I should go with you to find Lindsay. What do you say? I don't know. Your leg might flare up. Perhaps it's best for you to stay with... Tactician Art and the caravan.
I know Bram says his leg is fine, but that trip into dry top was hard on him. It would be best if he stayed with Tactician Arts Caravan. I can go with you. And, do you know what? Because everybody keeps keeping him back, I'm going to bring him with me. Bram and I will go. Let's move out, shall we? Raise the northern gate. Just because... I want to give Bram a chance. Because everybody else keeps molly coddling, so... If he wants to... So I guess, uh, yeah, off we go. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, Bram's coming with us. Now if you play it, you can maybe take rocks with you to get maybe the different story. If there is any different story. Here's the uh, the caravan, Mas Magister Lin Lindsay. Okay, let's talk to her. That was almost too easy. I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen. Thank goodness you found us. I was afraid we'd be trapped here. How did you know to look for us? We heard there was a, there was trouble at Concordia and come immediately. How bad are things over there? Have the items in the fort been compromised? I'm afraid so. The vigil have retreated to the golden light hollow lap what are we going to do now our caravans were carrying magical artifacts out here for safekeeping the Crichton royal locket is among them the Crichton royal locket it's a magical locket it's said to always have to always have the image of the current heir to the throne of Crichton displayed inside it it's quite beautiful it sounds powerful very powerful and converted Co wait, coveted? We move it from fort to fort on a regular, a irregular schedule. I probably shouldn't even be telling telling you about it, but you're you. My lips are sealed. So I guess they move this thing around so that people can't find it. But all, if it, all it does is show the heir to the throne, what's why how is it how is it that magical and that special so we're going to the the hollow lab so if you're wondering guys we do have the guild up and running now the biscuiteers come join us um just message me in game and I'll send you an invite. I play on the Isle of Janthea NA servers, however you can play on any NA server. And I think EU as well. I'm not sure. <sighs> let's uh let's kill some of these things. Alright, there's one big guy down. Oops, just as I was trying to dodge. <laughs> okay, put down some some area of effects and then stand back and range. Some more tentacles and stuff are spawning, obviously. Because it's gated by the, the how many you kill and not how quick you can kill them, I guess. One more thing to... Uh, I guess, never mind, I guess it's done. So all that the thing changed was if Bram or Rox came with me. I'm not confident we're safe yet. There were wounded all through the hills. This is a bad situation. We should probably get over to Port Salma. We're meeting friends there. 
Do you have this under control? We're good. Thanks for your help. Safe journey. Alright, so there's that done. Do you think Tactician Art will be alright? This attack hit everybody pretty hard. You two should stay behind. Keep looking for survivors. I'll head to Fort Salma. Good. We've got this covered. How about we meet at Dry Top when we're done? I know Bram's worried about Timey. We keep forgetting she's just a kid. A kid that was right about Concordia and that wanders about Fort Salma. She's a smart kid. Smart, li smart little cookie. So let's see what we get. Uh, again, it doesn't look like I got any tier 6 materials. However, loot is loot, I suppose. So let me just quickly put some of this into my bags, destroy the rest of it, and then head over to Fort Salma to probably do the same thing we did here. <laughs> Now I wonder how far into the season we're going to get before Mordromoth is revealed to us. I still don't know what Mordromoth looks like. Like I haven't looked into it because I kind of want it to be a surprise. The first time that I see it, I want it to be in-game. Okay, so over to Fort Salme. Which happens to be right over here. Oh, of course it is, yeah. It's in Kessex. But another sort of big patch happening in Kessex Hills. Just like the, the Tower of Nightmares happened here not long ago. Uh, which was probably one of, on, on the top of one of my favourite patches for Guild Wars 2. 